welcome back friends uh, I'm going to do <coughs> one question on graphs uh, it's a parabola okay so the question is the equation of the graph uh, drawn below is this so this is the graph of this equation so the first question is give the coordinates of all the intercepts the y intercept and the x intercept so uh, you should be knowing that this is your x intercepts this is your x these are your x intercept and this is your y intercept now to draw to get the x intercept okay so x intercept x intercept is when y is equal to 0 okay so at these two points your y value is 0 so if you set let me bring this back so when you set Okay, so when you set uh, y is equal to 0, so can I say 0 is equal to 3 minus x times x plus 1. Now I want you to think logically. <clears throat> if the product of two numbers, if this is a number and this is a number, if this times this is 0, you can see that 3 minus x has to be 0 or x plus 1 is a 0. So when is this 0? Your x has to be 3. Okay, because 3 minus 3 is 0. And when is this 0? Your x has to be negative 1. So these are your x intercepts. So you can see your x intercepts are negative 1 and positive 3. Okay, now your y intercept. So you can say, okay, this is the answer. We have answered x intercept. For y intercept, uh, for x intercept, what should be 0? y is 0. So conversely, for x in y intercept, your x has to be 0. Okay. So if you set x is equal to 0, so y is equal to 3 minus 0 times 0 plus 1. Because I put 0 in place of x. So y is equal to 3 minus 0 is 3 times 0 plus 1 is 1. So y intercept is 3. So this is done. We have answered the x intercept and the y intercept. So this is your y axis and this is your x axis. Okay, now to write, give the equation of the line of symmetry and the coordinates of the turning point. So this is called the turning point. This is where your parabola turns. Okay, so this is your your y uh, the y value keeps increasing, uh, keeps in, keeps increasing till this point, and from there it starts decreasing. So that's why it's called a turning point. And if you draw a line through the turning point, and that's called the axis of symmetry. So they're asking you, this line is called the axis of symmetry. I'll only write this. Okay, so they're asking you what's the equation of this line and what's the coordinates of this point. Okay, now your axis of symmetry is always between the x-intercept. In, x it will be halfway between the x-intercepts. So axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry, to find the, x, the equation of axis of symmetry, okay, is halfway between the. So this is what you should remember. It is halfway between the x intercepts. It's always halfway between the x intercepts. So what are your x intercept? It's ne three and negative one. So x intercept. Uh, so if you want to find halfway between these two numbers, you have to add them and divide it by 2. So it is 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus negative 1 divided by 2, which is 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So this line has the equation of x is equal to 1. That means this point is 1 on the x-axis. On this line is called x is equal to 1. Now you know if the axis of symmetry is x is equal to 1, the x value of the vertex is 1. 
okay so if the x symmet axis of symmetry is x is equal to 1 the x value or the x coordinate of your turning point would be 1 so to find the y value you have to substitute this value of 1 into this equation very easy so let me show it here let me change color very messed up so let me use blue so I'll write uh, y v stands for the vertex or the turning point so what's the equation of the graph the equation of the graph is y is equal to 3 minus x times x plus 1 so uh, I have to put so let me write the equation y is equal to 3 minus x times x plus 1 so what I have to do is uh, your xv we just saw is 1 your xv is 1 so to xv stands for the x value of the vertex or the turning point so your yv or the y value of the turning point is 3 minus 1 times 1 plus 1 so what I've done is in place of x I have put 1 so this is 3 minus 1 is 2 and 1 plus 1 is also 2 so it is 4 so your coordinate of the turning point is 1 comma 4 so this turning point or your vertex is 1 comma 4 okay the next question is okay let me try to finish it off now the, this is this would be an excellence question in NCA. Now, what they're asking is if the parabola, if this parabola, if this parabola is moved two units to the left and seven units down, write the equation of, of for the parabola with its new position and give the coordinates of x and your y intercept. So what basically they're asking you is, I will show you how to, this parabola is moving 2 to the left and 7 down. So this one, the, the new vertex, so your x value will move 2 to the left. So your x value of the vertex would become negative 1. That means this is, I'll show you. This is, it moves 2 units to the left. And from 1, 4, it has to move 7 units down. That means, so now this point, this point has become negative 1, 4, okay? Now from here, what they're saying is, then you move 7 down. So from 4, which is your y, this is your 4 on your y-axis, you have to move 3 down. So this is 1, sorry, 7 down. So 1, 2, this is negative 3. So after moving 3 to the left, you have to move 7 down. That means you have to come here. That's what they're asking you. So this new vertex, I can say, is negative 1, negative 3. This vertex is negative 1, negative 3. So what is the equation of that? Uh, what is the equation of that, of this parabola? And now you have to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Now, only using logic, you can see it cannot have any x-intercept. It will have a y-intercept, but it will not have any x-intercept. So, yeah, I will show you this, this, this equation can also be written as y is equal to minus, I'll show you it on a calculator, this and this are the same. So, this parabola, so let me bring it back. So, this parabola, if you bring it back here, so this parabola is the basic parabola which has flipped over. Uh, it has become upside down, then it has gone 1 to the right and 4 up. So this equation and the equation that I'm going to write are the same. I'll show you on a graphic calculator. So this parabola, if you want to write this with respect to the vertex, minus stands for flipping it, flipping the cal uh, sorry, the graphic, the parabola upside down, then it has moved one to the right so you have to write x minus one squared okay and then it has moved four up so that is plus four so let me show you on a calculator this and this are the same so let me delete it okay 
delete and delete so first let me graph i'll show you so let me graph 3 minus x bracket x plus 1 just to show you how you can do this on a calculator also so here if you want to confirm your vertex so you go g sol g sol and maximum that's 1 4 okay and if you want to find the y intercept g sol y intercept is 0 3 and to find the x intercept that's a root that is negative 1 and if you scroll this that's positive 3 okay so let us delete it and let us write this equation minus x minus 1 squared plus 4 what will happen that's the same so again g sol and maximum that's 1 4 y intercept is 0 3 and your roots are negative 1 and 3 okay do you understand so this equation and this are the same now what i'm saying is this has moved 2 to the left that's here and has moved 7 down so this parabola so the vertex is minus 1 minus 3 the vertex is minus 1 minus 3 so the new equation would be y is equal to minus for upside down then your vertex is it has moved uh, it has moved to the left one okay so this minus one you write as x plus one squared and then it has moved three down okay so it has moved three down though it has moved seven down from here the basic parabola has moved 1 to the left and 3 down. So the new equation is like this, minus 3. Okay. So now uh, the, the question is, uh, we have graph, find the coordinate of x-intercept. So you can say no x-intercepts. No x-intercept. No x-intercept. We will come from this on a calculator. And for y-intercept, what do we have to do? We have to set something equal to 0, which is x. We have to set x equal to 0. So y is equal to minus 0 plus 1 squared minus 3, which is, this would be, uh, this would be minus 1 minus 3, which is minus 4. So your y-intercept, you can say this is negative 4. It does also make sense. So this value is negative 4. So let us check our answer. So this is, okay, so let me uh, draw. Okay, so that was, yeah, so the new equation is, so let me delete it. Okay, delete F1. So the new equation is minus x plus 1 squared uh, minus 3, okay. I think I'm right, yeah. And let us graph it. So this is, so G sol, uh, your maximum is minus 1, minus 3. That's confirmed. Then uh, roots, not found. There are no roots here. And uh, again, draw it. G sol and the y-intercept is negative 4. Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.